I, Jacob Bach, here in Madrid, and I want to share a little secret that I've learned over the last several years when it comes to prayer and evangelism. You know, a lot of you know that we have a prayer and evangelism training center right down in the heart of Madrid, two areas of the Christian life that, you know, a lot of people feel guilty about both of them. They feel like they should be doing them more. I should be praying more. They don't. They feel guilty. I should evangelize. I don't. I don't know how. I don't feel successful. They end up feeling guilty. And I'm just really enjoying being in the rest when it comes to prayer and evangelism. And I want to share a secret with you on my attitude when it comes to both prayer and evangelism that might help you enter into the same kind of rest, that we do not have to make things happen. It's the Holy Spirit that makes things happen. You see, God is big enough, and he's sovereign, and he's powerful enough to make things happen. The important thing for us to do is to show up, and who knows what God might do. And that's the philosophy that I have when it comes to prayer. For example, not every time of prayer that I have when, we, when I set aside time each day is going to be like, wow, you know, the heavens opened up, God came down, you know, and I wept and I prayed for those lost souls and my heart was broken. There are times, but you never know when really God's going to show up in that, in that secret closet that you have with the Lord. The important thing is that you show up and then who knows? If you don't show up, then you're not allowing God to actually do something and do something special and actually manifest himself in your life. So show up and who knows is the expression that I kind of have in my heart when it comes towards prayer. And also in evangelism, sometimes it's cold, sometimes it's raining, and our evangelism is done out on the street in the open air. And you think, well, should we go out tonight? Or there's hardly anybody out there. And the other day it was snowing. And I wanted to preach in the snow for the very first time, so I went down there 10 o'clock in the morning. We were four people, and I mean, there was a blizzard coming down, and I thought, hey, I want to preach in the snow because I think I've preached in everything else but the snow. And who knows? You know, who knows? If, you know, if I don't go out, God's not going to do anything in their lives, but if I do go out and I show up and I just do my part, who knows what God's going to do? And it's just a rest that you can have in the ministry. And just in those two areas of prayer and evangelism, let God be God. You just show up and who knows?